Zina, <laughs> congratulations. <laughs> Thank you so much. British champion, but not only a British champion, also Olympic qualifying. How does that feel? <laughs> Honestly, just so amazing. It's something I've dreamt of for probably close to 12 years. Um, I was really, really close to making Tokyo, like agonizingly close. Um, and failed at the Olympic trials. So it was all about just executing my race plan today. I've never felt more focused in my life, even when the rain was hitting our shoulders and in the set position, it was going down my neck. And I just thought, just do what you need to do. And I'm really proud of mentally how I came into these championships. So really looking forward to just putting in a bit more speed work and yeah, hopefully doing some more faster times. How did you feel this morning? You already had the time, yeah, but to yeah. go into it, a bit of pressure? Yeah, I mean, Last Olympic trials I had the time, so I knew it wasn't just that. Like knowing I had the time, I've run the qualifying a few times this year. Um, so I knew it was in there, I knew I could do it on a cold, rainy day. So just this morning I felt really calm and just kept repeating my race plan. Just kept repeating it, kept repeating it. And yeah, the whole morning was a bit of a blur, I can't, <laughs> I can't, I can't lie. But yeah, I'm just so, so pleased that I've, I've done the job and yeah, I can go and hopefully be an Olympian soon. That'll be so, so special. And we were speaking to Lavia yesterday. He said Coach Tony is back to training you guys and he's back on the mend. How is it to have him back coaching yeah. you? It's been a tough few weeks. Yeah, yeah, he's incredible. Honestly, he's almost inspired us. And in a way, it's made, it's made track and field seem like something, I don't want to say minor, but when you see life happen that way, it makes it puts everything into perspective. And he's really, really inspired us because he's just bounced back. He won't stay away from the track. <laughs> <laughs> he came back, you know, even against all of our wishes. But yeah, he's got so much faith in us. I've trusted everything that we've done this year. He's just been an amazing mentor as well as a coach. You know, he's coached so many amazing people and he's put us in a great, great position, not only physically, but mentally as well. So. I'm sure I've done him proud today <laughs> and um, yeah I'm just so so pleased that we found him I call him my guardian angel so <laughs> I'm really really excited to go call him and tell him the good news <laughs> and you and Lavia obviously you mentioned that you were in London helping out yeah. Yeah. and now to get here she's racing very soon yeah, <laughs> yeah. <Ten minutes. laughs> yeah. but how would that feel for the both of you yeah. to go from London 2012 yeah. and then to Paris this year yeah I mean for both of us I, just, I said I missed out on the last Olympics very I was so so close she went to the last Olympics but she was quarantined so she never really got to experience the village or the whole Olympic experience so this will be kind of our first Olympics together you know when we look at it that way and we will enjoy it we will vlog it <laughs> for everyone so that they can enjoy it with us we just we're such massive fans of the sport as well as being in the sport so we just want to soak it all in and and just not put any pressure on ourselves once we're there the work has been done and just enjoy it and soak it in and, and hopefully run the races that we want to see faster times in Paris where it matters so yeah we really really looking forward to it and it will be like little girls really <laughs> throughout the village so I can't wait so yeah I hopefully she does a good job today and quick last question for me you mentioned blogging of course yeah. how actually is important that to you guys to put out there I feel like you're attracting quite a lot of younger yeah. athletes yeah for us that's what it is it's, yeah. it's finding the young generation we don't we feel like track and field is dying a little bit so we just want to show how normal it is to be performing it's like any other competition whether that's English schools or you know the British championships or the Olympic trials it's we enjoy it and we love it and we just want to take people along the way and see what's behind the scenes and and it's just it's, it's fun for us it takes the pressure away a little bit and we're just avid camera users for us it's just <laughs> it's normal it's a normal day so it's not anything extra that we have to do we just do what we usually do and we we love it and we love seeing how people enjoy it and we love the community we've got and that's the main thing so yeah very important that we keep vlogging <laughs> super well i look forward yeah. to this one <laughs> thank you